Dr. Hartman represents a lot of the best of not just Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center, but a lot of the best of West Texas. If you go back and look at his history prior to ever coming here in 1971, he was in Patton's Third Army. We trained for uh, six months uh, in the tank corps, uh, and then we uh, went uh, to England and the, the largest convoy of ships that had ever crossed the Atlantic at that time. As far as you could see, there were ships. Uh, just a few days before the European uh, battle ended, we captured a concentration camp, Mauthausen, and it was just an unbelievable sight. Uh, bodies lying stacked like cordwood. The fires were still burning in the furnaces. The stench was just uh, almost unimaginable. Uh, all of them were so gaunt, they were skin and bones. We knew certainly then why we had fought. When the war was over and he finally got home, he went back to school. And at the completion of residency, um, I was able to have a fellowship uh, under the Professor of Orthopedic Surgery at Oxford University in England. Uh, we came back and joined the faculty at the University of Michigan, went to the Cleveland Clinic, where, we, where I served for seven years on the staff, but I couldn't resist when I was contacted by Dr. Bessler about helping start a new medical school on the campus at Texas Tech University. And we moved to Lubbock in 1971. Prior to the time the medical school here opened, uh, all of the medical education was done on the eastern half of the state, all of it. And uh, for, for people to have the vision to say, listen, not only do we need to have a vibrancy in the medical care that we deliver out here, but we need to have something where we can grow our own and start doing things for medical education out here. That really was visionary in 1970. It takes a special leader to be able to start something, and Dr. Hartman certainly was part of the starting of things at the Health Science Center, as well as working with the hospital in its early days. Uh, from day one, we had a very good relationship. Uh, Ted uh, is just a straight out, honest, decent, honorable gentleman. While we had uh, some magnificent hills to climb, but it was a nice climb because we were working with nice people. And probably of the individuals that uh, I know, uh, Ted has done the best job uh, working with Health Science Center and working with UMC in both capacities. He's really blessed both organizations. It has been a, a wonderful, uh, for me, a, a great example of how uh, a, a, a medical school and a teaching hospital can work together. Uh, he wanted a first-class medical school, and, and I think you could have to say he, had, he and his predecessors and successors have made a first-class medical school. This year, graduates from Texas Tech Medical School wound up at Harvard, Yale, Johns Hopkins, Stanford, and Mayo. Now, we'd like them all to stay here, but because of the education they get here and because of the caliber of student that we produce here, they go wherever they want. That's a testament to Dr. Hartman. Dr. Hartman has been a um, blessing to the community, both with his medical service to patients, uh, his role as the dean, his leadership role, both at Health Science Center, School of Medicine, and also with uh, University Medical Center and the Foundation. And we very much um, appreciate uh, the financial gifts that Dr. Hartman's made over the years to the Foundation. And that's benefited uh, many of our patients uh, because of him and others like him that give so generously to our Foundation. University Medical Center isn't just a hospital. It's a hospital is at the forefront of all of the newest things that must be done to keep medical care at its best. And that is one of the reasons it is vital to continue supporting 
the organization of a university medical center. 